Question number four, Ruth McGuire. To ask the First Minister what impact the disclosure scheme for domestic abuse in Scotland has had since its introduction in 2015. First Minister. The disclosure scheme for domestic abuse in Scotland introduced after Clearwood's tragic death has enabled uh, over 3,500 people to request information for themselves or for someone they feel may be at risk of domestic abuse. Uh, the Police Scotland scheme, which I was proud to help announce when it was introduced nationally in 2015, has informed almost 1,600 people about their partner's abusive past and, put simply, uh, this may well have saved lives. It's one of a number of measures which make a difference for victims. The Domestic Abuse Act passed earlier this year creates a specific domestic abuse offence that covers not just physical abuse but also coercive and controlling behaviour and that sends an unequivocal message that any type of domestic abuse is completely unacceptable. Ruth McGuire. Thank the First Minister for that answer. Based on the figures out this week, it's hard to argue that this scheme rolled out after a successful trial in Ayrshire has been anything other than a success. Scottish Women's Aid acknowledge it as a great tool for breaking the silence around coercive control and the violence of domestic abuse, helping women who may have been unaware of their partner's past. How will the Scottish Government continue to promote this scheme and other supports to those who face the threat or live with the reality of a violent or abusive partner? First Minister. Well, the scheme has indeed been a success and I think it's a credit to the dedicated Police Scotland officers and victim support organisations who work tirelessly to support people through the disclosure process and to prevent people becoming victims. Uh, applications from individuals using their right to ask have increased by almost 40% in the last 12 months, which demonstrates that the scheme is being used. Uh, the Scottish Government is investing record levels of funding to support victims of gender-based violence uh, through a range of frontline services. That includes funding to Scottish Women's Aid to train a pool of expert coercive control trainers throughout Scotland and development of a range of resources to support groups and external organisations, including local violence against women partnerships. And we will continue uh, this support to make sure uh, that domestic violence is reduced and that victims have as much protection as possible. Christine.